Hi, in this tutorial I'll talk about the window that appears when we start Inkscape after installing it or when we are opening or creating a document. Now have in mind that each document can be opened in a different window so we can have more than one window like that on our screen. But the thing that I want to talk about here is that this is how Inkscape starts and no matter you can position it or resize it anywhere you want, you can maximize it, but when you close it, the next time you start Inkscape, it will appear like this again. And this can be a little annoying and uh, time consuming to adjust the position or the size of the window every time you start it. So this is the something I want to begin with. Let's go to File, Inkscape Preferences, and we'll get this window here. Scroll down to Windows, and these are the options that control this. Now, by default, Inkscape does not save the window geometry. That's why every time we close and start again, we are having this size of the window. Now if you click here to remember and use last window geometry, when we close Inkscape, if we resize it for example like that right now, let's close this for a second, if I resize this to be visible like that, Control Shift P to get that window again and I click to remember and use last windows geometry when I close this window and start Inkscape again this is how it's going to appear so this is useful and the other option here controls the uh, save and restore window geometry for each document so maybe you wanna work with more than one document at, at a time so you may wanna position them let's say half of the window here of our screen here will be for one window and the other half for the other window and this is the way you want to work you can click here this option and you'll be able to achieve that when you close Inkscape you can open the, the two documents and they will start like that you don't have to resize them and position them every time you open them so this is um, what I wanted to talk about in this tutorial and uh, all the options here in preferences are going to be covered because they're really important of how the tools here and uh, other options work so this may be a little boring part of these tutorials but it's really important to gain full control of the software so bye for now